Hello, my friends, and today I am a guest of German Popov. Hi, German. And we want to say a few words about our label Tropos, how it was established. Uh, incidentally, I went to Amsterdam to establish our tea business here, and I met German uh, just just on the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, <laughs> just on the street where we met. And in the five minutes, we decided to make a label. Yeah, corner of uh, <laughs> Brouwersgracht, beautiful uh, area in Amsterdam, and uh, Prinsengracht. Right there, the decision of uh, creating a record label and mm -hmm. publish uh, mm -hmm. rare mm -hmm. sound materials immediately came about. Yeah. And uh, it's already fulfilled mm -hmm. in these four releases yeah. so far. And we are planning to go further. So the first release, Sergei, yeah, maybe we I... started to talk about uh, music of Southeast Asia. I mentioned to you the name of uh, Dutch anthropologist Fred Halles and his uh, archive of recording. Mm -hmm. And you told me, oh, but this is the place where the tea culture originated. So mm -hmm. uh, it's very significant to publish such materials also in relation to the tea culture and yeah. its history and your... Yeah. Uh, it was a first connection actually, because uh, German told me about Fred and we also have an interview on this channel with Fred Halles, uh, who is a, how to say, a researcher and anthropologist. And uh, this is a very rare recordings of uh, national minorities of uh, South Asian Asia. So here's recordings from Southern China, Laos, uh, Burma, uh, different small minorities like Yao, like Thai, like uh, Mauhu, Brau. So it's, it's uh, all, uh, it's very interesting region where I traveled a lot during my tea travels, but I traveled in different period of time because regularly uh, the time what I traveled is the harvesting of tea, uh, but the time uh, for celebration something or some ritual is different time and uh, Fred I was there also earlier than me for a lot of time, for many years earlier. There were some records from the beginning of the 90s and even some tribes already not... Almost extinct. Only, yeah, disappeared or, mm -hmm. or changed a lot. So this is a field recordings of uh, very interesting ethnic and uh, rare music. Mm -hmm. yeah, so can... Yes, so to sum up what Sergei just said, so mm -hmm. this is uh, recordings from Southeast Asian region, which is rich uh, of the, it has this ethnic mosaic of uh, nations, of ethnic groups speaking different languages, featuring uh, such a prominent uh, archetypal instruments from this area, uh, such as gongs or uh, mouth organ. Publication is uh, decorated with uh, authentic uh, photos from the region on the cover. Land of Three Folks, we see two Nagas, two mythical uh, snake-like, serpent-like creatures, which are the totemic animals of various uh, tribes from this region. And yes, so um, this is where tea culture started. Yes. And um, even though this is our, uh, in the catalog numbers, catalog order, it's our second release, but we consider it as the first yeah, so that's why we presented it now. Yeah, it was our first <laughs> first connection. Yeah. yeah, because when we start talking, I feel very strong and deep uh, connection with uh, uh, this music. What is interesting that uh, yeah, the release uh, why 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 we focus on vinyl because I think this is the only uh, type of physical uh, music uh, which is really. I'm a big fan of vinyl and my German too, we are collectors and I think this is something which is living all the time, it's living entity. Also we use a very good quality, you can say... Yeah, we, uh, we, we use 180 gram uh, um, disc, vinyl disc, mm -hmm. with the uh, deepest possible groove. Mm -hmm. um, so the quality of, uh, of sound is very high and... Uh, for this particular release, we didn't use any mastering, so it's uh, and it sounds perfect in this um, in this state. 
so we are raw uh, way. In fact, uh, probably mm -hmm. it's the first time, at least in my uh, personal experience, that because uh, um, vinyl needs a certain specific form of mastering, mm -hmm. but this it worked perfectly with this new technology. So we didn't do the mastering, and it sounds absolutely wonderful. Yeah, so the uh, second release, which is first in its um, catalog order, it's a release of my uh, solo single, which mm -hmm. is called Cosmotropos. Yeah, really which beautiful color. <laughs> also <yeah>. transparent. <laughs> yeah. Transparent. In this case, it's the 45 RPM, mm -hmm. 45 revelation per minute. It features five tracks. Each of them represents uh, a specific... Uh, uh, musical uh, system or system of musical intervals. It includes what is called the microtonal Arabic system. Uh, two tracks are composed in this scale. Uh, there is a scale uh, from Southeast Asia, which is called Pilog, from Indonesia mainly. There is a um, atonal, sort of European, well-tempered scale, but uh, with a very strange um, order of chords. I don't even know which trick is gonna play now. It's <laughs> just... Uh, yeah, you can... 45 RPM. <laughs> yeah, so ba basically that's the uh, second... Uh, so it's a uh, danceable, it can be applied to club to, to DJs. To, we have very limited edition of each of these releases. So this is only 150 copies. The, uh, it's uh, almost less than 100. So yeah. We still have. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Really some some of them are sold already. So please, uh, through the uh, um, platforms of Moi Chai, you can always navigate and find and purchase this uh, rare music um, yeah so this is um, second release but um, since we have limited amount of time there there, there, there were also some other introduction of this uh, content through throughout other uh, videos mm -hmm, posted mm -hmm. also on your channel yeah. I suppose yeah, yeah. also on my channel so now I would like to ask Sergey about the release which he basically facilitated mm -hmm. and um, and it just came about only yesterday. So yeah, this is yeah. by Tirek. Yeah, so this is a re uh, release of uh, Altai uh, traditional uh, band. Uh, actually, it's uh, my good friends, which I just maybe you already know them because they are pretty well known online. If you just uh, search Altai full singing or Altai Skaglava in Russian, uh, on YouTube, you will find them as a first. Record. I think it's called Kai. Kai, in Malta. Yeah, Kai, Kai. Yeah, Kai, Kai, Kai. So this is a fraud singing band from Altai. 33? Yeah, yeah, it's 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the first uh, track, which is int intro, introduction. The Spirit of Altai. Yeah, so this is a band from Altai Mountains, uh, Siberia. Uh, they playing traditional Altai music, their own songs, and also. Uh, native song of uh, Altai uh, and uh, this is a uh, very the same time as modern sound but uh, it's ethnic music and I really love it so it's very energetic and it's really brings you a spirit of Altai and yeah it's the interesting uh, modern let's say interpretation of uh, own I think some of them are written by the yeah, by them. yeah, 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 yeah some of them are uh, according to Sergei are traditional songs mm -hmm. but they're um, rendered in mm -hmm. a very um, unique, uh, specific, personal uh, form mm -hmm. of these three young, talented musicians mm -hmm. from Altai, uh, from Siberia. Mm -hmm. Hope someday we will bring them here <laughs> in Amsterdam to play. Yeah. Featuring also traditional instruments, top shores, the lutes, the drum and the uh, horse cello. Yeah, which is called the Kili. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, great. Yeah, I, I think it's good to listen for anyone who loves ethnic music and who want to listen to real authentic stuff. <laughs> Yeah. And 
and uh, our last release in something very very special okay so the latest release is called hyper listening featuring four uh, non-musical tracks which is also quite rare for the vinyl uh, publications because usually you expect to hear the music but here we have non-music mm -hmm. it's uh, recordings of various uh, animals from different parts of the world registration done by four different uh, group of people and um, the term hyper listening also refers to certain way of dissolving in the uh, acoustic sonic flow of data in, in this case uh, Sergey mentioned the vinyl I mean the vinyl represents this analog sound so even if recordings are digitally made or produced with the digital instruments still the fact that it's on vinyl it sort of makes it analog very warm and uh, pleasant sound compare with all these mp3s all these digital uh, recordings the first track represents uh, sounds from the island of shikoku in japan various cicadas various nocturnal sounds from the and from these beautiful eerie landscapes of uh, southern japan frogs toads uh, crickets and all of types of uh, insects the second uh, track is um, recordings from south africa from the banks of limpopo river mm -hmm. sound of local frogs and their uh, nocturnal titillations mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, recorded by uh, 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 prominent uh, artist evelina domnic and dmitry gelfand so and then we have two more tracks you see the record is yellow <laughs> transparent yellow I love uh, the color. then we have uh, unique recordings from hawaii the sound of handbag whales which uh, since the break of uh, covid pandemic and due to restriction on tourism the whales are profiting from this situation so mm -hmm. they gather in numbers and the, the sound even though this recording is made with a hydrophone uh, underwater microphone uh, in principle this unique uh, bridal games mm -hmm. uh, of uh, handbag whales uh, could be heard in the vicinity of uh, islands, Pacific islands of Maui, Moloka and Lanai. Yeah. I want to say a few words about the cover because it's also work of a few artists. Uh, for example, the, uh, the apple <laughs> of the uh, label, label. label yeah, made by Fedor Perfilev. And uh, here is uh, some drawings of Takako. Uh, Takako by, Hamano. Yeah, Takako Hamano. Uh, and uh, here the, it's also Takakos, or not? No, no, this is um, made by. Let, let, let's. Well, the uh, the cover is yeah. uh, basically um, made by the Kazakh uh, <laughs> artist Almagul Menlibayeva. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also, she Brussels. used a few. Uh, yeah, so maybe it's, a, it's a teamwork. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. Say, the, 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 here's the medi medieval uh, painting uh, of singing. Of fish. Trump, trumpeting fish, yeah, yeah. somehow so relating to this, yeah, even yeah. though whales are not fish, but the mammals, but yeah. still. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the uh, last track on the record is um, features various underwater insects from Limpopo River. If uh, the the we we heard already sounds from this region, but it was the. Uh, uh, bridal singing of uh, uh, cracking of the uh, frogs but mm -hmm. here we uh, this recording is also made with hydrophone you hear the sound of various uh, uh, water insects from Limpopo the great uh, river of South Africa 
uh, recorded by uh, Barbara Ellison under uh, supervision or with participation of Francisco Lopez. Mm -hmm. uh, she is wife of Francisco Lopez. They often often work in team. Mm -hmm. So this is um, yeah. It's called Fantasma Mundana, and I think it refers to the book that uh, Barbara wrote, which is in itself an interesting book on uh, psychoacoustics, I believe, on this mm -hmm. uh, intriguing uh, discipline. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> and uh, what I like uh, this record, but yet it, one was made in Hawaii, one was made in Japan, and two made in South Africa. So. Like very wide and, spectrum. Uh, spectrum. What do you want to say about this record? That uh, he was a he has a small uh, mistake. Uh, misprint. 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 Usually misprints uh, on records are more expensive than original records. Yeah, by yeah, the way. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so, so actually, but the content uh, in, is completely uh, as explained, but uh, only a the order of songs is uh, yeah. uh, messed up by the uh, mm. by the. Uh, yeah, yeah. By, by the factory, yeah, we yeah. we are still uh, sort of digesting digesting this information because it just it just we just, just found it, it, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, just minutes now. ago. So, but yeah. anyway, as misprint, this uh, uh, release is also quite unique. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the order of songs is the, there, there up, are yeah, advantages yeah. and disadvantages. We are still thinking how to proceed about it, but. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the, the record is uh, the reality. You can purchase it uh, through the um, platforms. Yeah, downstairs. You can see the link below. Uh, you can order all four records there. Also, if you are in Amsterdam, Netherlands, you can physically buy it in our shop. Maybe later we'll think about kind of distribution. But because all releases is very limited, uh, some of those you only have less than 100 copies. Uh, some of those we just printed now. We have 300 copies, like by track, but this is only 200 le copies. Less than 200, already 180. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very limited uh, and also at the same time very unique. Uh, and I hope you love it. We will we work more on different releases and we're trying to be not. How to say not to be secondary in that? Yeah, how to say it's right? <laughs> yes, we are just trying to release very within this uh, Moichai Tropos uh, collaboration. Yes, yeah. uh, then we release a very uh, seldom, uh, very rare um, sound materials of various uh, of various nature. It could be music, but as here, could be also the sound of nature or sound of cosmos you know who knows yeah some electronic some ethnic music of course and maybe we will continue with uh, uh, also sound reporters released from Fred yes but yeah. but but all of it also goes very well with the, an idea of uh, drinking tea as, yeah. a, as a process right so all of mm. this sound can increase experience I mean to, to mm. sharpen the experience of uh, drinking yeah, unique uh, tea, tea yeah. which you d distribute, which you make available yeah. to public. Uh, actually, the tea is really uh, it's also as a culture uh, prospect, so the music is the same. And uh, then you drink a nice tea, you, how do you say, became more attendant, more yeah. present. Yeah, and this is why you... It opens the horizon of your perception. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the music... Widen the horizon of... Yeah. Uh, listeners' perception, so you are able to hyper listen yeah. instead of just listening. Yeah, this is why. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave your comments uh, and also, as I told before, if you want uh, to buy the records, they are available. A link below. Uh, thank you very much and uh, stay in touch with us. And if you have any questions about the music label, also you can leave comments below. I really appreciate our work. Thank you, German. Yeah, we will stay in touch. I'll keep you updated about our more music news. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.